while we were filming Human, it really struck us the difference between the interviews of men and women. Once women got in front of the camera, it was as if they were waiting for this moment their whole life, as if they were keeping things for themselves for so many years. And then for this moment, finally, someone was there and was there to listen to their story. For women, we decided the best way to really focus on, on the story is just to have the face, the emotion and the voice. We want to go deeper and try to explore what is it to be a woman. If I feel something, I'll put it in. If I don't feel something, I use less of the feeling and more of the thinking. If you have two of them that are really, really nice, but it's like the same thing, she just says it differently, I have to choose one of them. And sometimes it's really hard to choose one or the other because they both sound amazing, but sometimes like one has this thing that doesn't have the other or you know vice versa and so you still have to make a choice and that's where I'm always like did I make the right choice when we started working on women it was very important for me on paper let's say to say that this film will be very balanced so there are things about the difficulties the discriminations and questions about love about happiness about empowerment yeah, very positive, but unfortunately, I have to be honest with you, most of the stories we hear are very hard. And this is where you, you understand that, well, a life of a woman is quite often a fight. <laughs> and even in the, like when you ask it in a positive way, you can feel that the woman who is a very positive has been through a lot of stuff. Obviously, we have to show the reality, but what we want to show is the inner strengths that women have and what they are capable of. Rwanda took me two weeks to select. Usually it takes me a week, a week and a half, but it took me two weeks because I had to take breaks pretty often um, because this was the most intense one that I, um, that I watched. But some other times it's like really beautiful and really like nice and you know funny so I mean even in Rwanda there was some funny parts about like female sexuality so it, you know and it was really really funny. I feel very hopeful about the future. <laughs> very hopeful because when I, I mean when I'm in front of all these women we interview all around the world and when I listen to their stories and when I hear what they have to overcome and they're still there standing these women who are, have never been given an opportunity in their life imagine if tomorrow the opportunity is there what will happen I think on a personal level I'm really learning to love and appreciate being a woman because I used to see more like the injustice and like the problematic around it and now I see also the beauty about it and it, it can it's kind of empowering to like see like strong women and you know like women overcoming things or just like being loving and I hope this movie will make people more understanding and open-minded. I feel that women don't want to wait anymore. Maybe if we wait a little bit, it will change. Maybe if we explain a little bit better, men will change. Maybe if this or that happen, no. More and more women say, okay, I don't want to see what will happen tomorrow. I want to be part of that change and I want it to happen now. <laughs>